Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show with you a short story video made with four AI apps. The first one is Novel AI, we generated the story tags. Next one is Mid Journey, they generated the art. Third one is OpenAI MusicNet, sorry, MuseNet, they generated the music. And the fourth one is Birth Studio, that did the text to voice. Other than that, I also use Motion Leap to create the 2D visual effects and animations, and also use uh, sound effects from freesound.org. I also recommend checking out Ampere Music for AI Music, which is incredible, but was on expensive side, so I didn't include it here. Otherwise, I probably would have used that. And before we do that, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more cool content regarding AI, augmented reality, mixed reality, and everything in between. So let's begin. It was late afternoon when we arrived at the capital city of Naskadu in Tresen province. The king had granted us permission for travel through the area. We were told that this particular crystal dragon had been causing trouble all over the country. It was destroying homes, attacking travelers on roads, and even feasting on livestock. This beast was literally eating away at our economy. We could not allow it to continue unchecked. The creature was cleverly disguised as a wyvern flying low over a small village just outside of the city. We went to the village in order to find and fight the nasty beast. However, it did not take long before we realized that it had already left its lair. It flew off without showing any interest towards us. Galena had sent something out of place so she called me over. She was worried about this creature but also curious to see what it looked like. As I approached her, she motioned for me to be quiet and then pointed towards a nearby hill. I followed her finger and saw a large shadow moving along the ground. It was a small little frog creature, not the beast, but is it? I wonder if it would make a good meal. Maybe I'll bring some back for my mother. What is the matter? Galena asked when she noticed that I wasn't paying attention to the crystal dragon. I then saw the big dragon coming from behind the hill. It was heading straight for us. Run, Galena shouted as she grabbed me by the arm and pulled me across the field. We ran as fast as we could towards the forest. The dragon's presence was overwhelming. But I was ready, I have mastered my spellcasting skills and was ready to fight and beat the dragon. But first, I needed to run towards the dragon. I knew that if I charged at it head on, I would die. And once it hit me, I knew that I would lose everything. I had to do something different. I needed to think outside the box. I cast a spell to create a shield around myself. It was simple enough. All I had to do was gather up magic from the surrounding air, concentrate it, and form it into a protective barrier around me. Then I connected the barrier to another spell that allowed me to manipulate the force and energy within the shield. This spell allowed me to move the shield around me in a circle. The dragon was now aware of my presence. Alright, now we're gonna go how I did it. Well, first I started with Novel AI, and it basically just generated, the AI generated a story. I can add my own input, by the way, and it will continue with the input afterwards, which is really, really cool. I mean, I just did it just once, but uh, you can actually add your own text and continue generating, and you would use your own text to continue. I just try it out, but basically everything else was actually generated by the AI. Then I went to Murph Studio. It was late afternoon when we arrived at the capital city of Naskadu in Tresen province. So basically a natural text to voice or text to speech. And next one is music. Now the one that I did want to use was actually created amazing music but was for using on YouTube, $99, so it was out of my budget, this one, Amper, so I definitely recommend checking it out, it's absolutely incredible, so I used um, Usenet, which is okay, you definitely should try it out. 
And then it took me hours to find <laughs> to find the right track. What can I do? The other one is just so much better, and but again, it's more expensive, basically. But if you don't mind, well, you can use it. I highly recommend checking it out. Once I had the text, I needed to just put it uh, in Midjourney and basically just copy paste the text and just let Midjourney put some images. And then I chose the one that I like best. For example, it was late afternoon when we arrived. So I put this one, I number it one, and then I number the image one. So I know which one belongs to what. And you see, I have different ones, options, and you know, I just need to choose one. I really like this one because of the water and you can actually animate it. So I chose that one. I also added, by the way, style to increase the style. I want it to be kind of a story, kind of a book story, uh, fantasy book. And I put 16 uh, by 10 aspect ratio. All right. And I did the same for all the other ones. This is the one, as you can see, that they used eventually. Here are the different ones. So I did for every single lines in the story, right? And not every line. Of course, I could have done it, but it, took, it, it could have taken much, much longer. So I just put the entire, uh, some paragraphs, basically, several paragraphs. And these are the original image generated by Midjourney. These are the ones that I use. So we can see they're static, but they come alive inside an app we're going to show you in a moment it really makes each one of these images really come alive in the store so these are all the images that are used in the ai show story of course i pick them up based on what i think that actually fits the disc the text and also something that looks well nice you know something impressive and also something I can work in motion leap to create some cool animations. All right, next stage was bringing those images one by one and of course, animating them in a motion leap. So here, for example, animating the water. Basically, I'm just creating areas with the anchor so it, the animation won't actually affect the surrounding area. And then it just uh, after I created the path and then we just animate the water based on the pathing that I drew with my hand. Uh, it looks really beautiful. That's the reason, by the way, I picked this image in the first place. I'm just showing you a few other things that I've done. In different one, I added lighting, I added the sky there. I changed also the colors, you know, saturation, position some object effects, visual effects. For example, the it's a fire breathing dragon, so I put a fire. Zoom a bit in a bit so you can see that I'm pacing it exactly the same at the right place. Put some bats flying around, edit smoke. Everything basically it's animated is using motion lip. Yeah, and uh, that's basically the entire process. How I use four AIs in order to create it with some other uh, apps to create the animation. But of course, what I want. The holy grail for me is that one AI can do everything in contextualizing things. So for example, if I want music for the scene, it can analyze the scene, analyze the text and create music that fits everything. Same goes to the other thing. It needs to be kind of a cohesive works together in one environment and then you create something much, much easier which, with, with AI that, well, actually doing all those choices, you know, if you see this uh, as a one single service, you can just think about if you press a single button, it will generate everything that you see here, including the story, including the animation, the music, sound effects, everything. But right now, well, I need to work a bit. But in the future, of course, AI will make things much, much easier. And that's about it. I hope you find this one useful, uh, interesting, inspiring. If you don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I have really, really cool things that I want to create and I really want to share with you. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell button to get notified when I release those videos. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.